at Bargy Farms, which is the facility that Pitt uses to do the IHSA team, um, which is the team that we run through the University of Pittsburgh and how we do equestrian sports at the school. We've been partnered with Bargy Farms for years. Our team, since before I was here, since before anybody we know that has ridden with us has been here, we've partnered with them. Um, they've just always supported us and always been able to give us the, the, the facilities and the horses that we need to ride. I knew someone, an alum, and she graduated here from like a while ago. She's in her 40s, um, just my godmother actually, and she knew about it. And she was like, oh, did you know Pitt has an equestrian team? And I was like, no, where are the horses? <laughs> That's, that sounds like a lie. And just sort of guide the bit into their mouth. And then you'll stick both of their ears through. This is Wynn. We gotta fix her hair too. <laughs> Make her all pretty. I wanted to make sure the school had something to do with horses if I could, so I did know they had a team, um, and I knew I was gonna do it, so I met some of my best friends doing it, and I've loved every second of it. Maggie, your horse is not the most talented with poles, so you have to guide him. Jim has been here forever, and he's amazing, and he's been at this barn forever as well. Give him some support, don't drop him but keep the leg, keep the uh, Working with the Pitt Equestrian Club for me has been a wonderful experience. I started doing this in 2011. Every year, the kids, are, they're just fabulous. I call them kids. <laughs> I know they're, they're adults now, but, but really every year they're, they're just fabulous. It's been uh, great for Bargy Farms, great for Pitt. It's, it's been a win-win situation and just every year a great experience for me to see how these kids develop and continue. Good. Walk five steps and back to the posting trot. Keep your leg in position. So when I'm on the horse, I honestly, it's like a challenge each time. I think that there's always, there's always something, no matter what skill level you are, there's always something you have to work on. I think when I ride it, it feels very like very freeing in a way because it's just something so unique to really have that confidence to do it and that ease I just think is really special that I'm able to be doing it. I'm fortunate that I haven't given the opportunities to do that. Good. Yeah, I think it takes a lot of um, patience because there's a lot uh, that goes into knowing how to tack up and just riding and kind of getting comfortable with whatever horse you're riding. But I think it's just your own growth. You can't compare to everyone else. It's kind of like an individual thing. And whatever you're proud of, that's what I think is the best part. It's technically a club, but I call us a team. I don't think it's like other clubs, really. Um, like, you know, like we have all the meetings and all that necessary stuff, but it's not forced. It's something I want to do. And some of my best friends are on this team. Some of my best friends are standing right here. Um, it's just a great group of girls. Coming out here is nice because it's very rural. Um, it's a nice break from school. We all kind of have a stress relief when we get on the horses. So it's really an awesome experience. And the team is really close. We're all very closely knit. Um, so it's been really nice to just have that like built-in group of best friends and I've just gotten along with them really well. Don't tell me you don't want to do that. <laughs> I feel like horseback riding as a whole is a pretty individual sport so being able to be on a team like since Pitt allows that and like allows that have, allows us to have that opportunity it's just it's a fun time to be able to enjoy it with people that also love horses and love the sport. I'm gonna miss most from Pitt, definitely my friends um, and riding horses here. I'm gonna miss Bargy Farms and Jim, our coach. I've grown um, really close to all these people, so it's gonna be sad to leave them. I see them graduate, it's, 
It's also very fulfilling to me to see them go on and do great things. A lot of them uh, go on to do things with horses. They remain involved with horses. And I do believe that the, their commitment to horses and the training they get by coming here and what they've done in other areas with horses really carries on, gives them good discipline, and they go on to do great things.